and welcome to Wake Up America. The United States originally developed into a wealthy and productive nation by protecting its domestic industries and jobs. Americans bought American-made products, and foreign countries were taxed if they wanted to sell their goods here. Now, because of free trade agreements, the U.S. has no import value-added tax. If the U.S. had imposed a border consumption tax, it would have gathered $216 billion in custom revenue rather than the $29 billion it gathered last year. Up next, we take a further look at the border consumption tax. Our incredibly flawed tax system is costing us Americans millions of dollars that we could use towards paying our bills and getting out of debt. The burden has been placed on the American people and our own companies. Our corporate tax rate is one of the highest in the world for small and medium-sized corporations, making us less competitive in the global marketplace. In order to compete globally, we must export. However, to export, we must become a strong manufacturing nation again. But to become a strong manufacturing nation, we must reform our tax system. The Border Consumption Tax Plan is a plan that both parties agree on. Essentially, the border consumption tax would drop the corporate rate from 35% to 12 to 15%. It would eliminate all income taxes on the first $100,000 earned, which would mean that 125 million Americans would not have to pay an income tax and whose take-home pay will increase. It would be a simpler system making paying taxes easier for everyone. All the while, it is a tax reform that remains revenue neutral and offers rebates to American exporters. The burden is switched from being on our companies and the American people to being placed on imported goods. This allows our goods to remain competitive. If more of our own goods are being made and purchased, more manufacturing jobs will be created in the U.S. Here to join us is Executive Vice President of Quezon Industries, Burl Finkelstein, to talk more with us about Border Adjustable Tax System. Now, Burl, tell us a little bit more about Quezon Industries. Quezon Industries is the uh, premier provider of custom hardware for uh, food service equipment, and walk-in refrigerators, and, and other, other equipment like that. If you've walked into a walk-in refrigerator, walk-in freezer in your, in your lifetime, you've probably touched our handle and the hinges around the door and the light fixture and other, other parts of it. So, Burl, how does the foreign tax affect Quezon Industries? In some cases, it makes it compelling for customers to look to buy from foreign countries because the tax gives a rebate on export. Like, like some customers may, may go to countries that are that value-added tax type countries because they get a tax rebate on export. Um, and some, some items that Quezon purchases where they become commodities, we, we will buy them in China and we get a very low price because the, the uh, tax is being rebated on export. Where if it's, it's an item we make here, we pay full corporate tax on it. So question, how are these companies even making a profit, Burl, if they are selling their products at net cost? They make money on the tax rebate. And this is a conversation I, I've asked, asked the same question to, our, to some of our vendors. I said, how could you possibly make money on this? You're selling a material cost. And he, he said, that's a good question. I sell it at net cost, and, and the government pays me back the tax rebate. And if you're... Um, if you're making back 10, 12, 15 percent, or even if you're making 7 or 8 percent, that's a reasonable profit for a lot of manufacturing operations. Right, and that puts U.S. companies at a disadvantage because it doesn't make them competitive anymore, right? Absolutely. Wow. Well, that's all the time that we have for today. Thank you so much, Burl, for joining us, and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.